What's up? Get that money, secure that bag. Ay. What's up? Get that money, secure that bag. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Get that money, get that money. She a queen and they love her cause she got her own, own place, own car, and she black on. It's the simple things in life that just makes life so much more and more enjoyable, you know? Oh no. So anyway, y'all, how you today? Today. So anyway, let's talk about the simple things in life, okay? The simple things of life. And if you just go outside and just Make sure anybody listening to my video. They can't get the exclusive scoop. <laughs> but anyway, you just go outside and just see how the grass grows, the trees, every little branch and leaf. See which character you can see up in the sky with the clouds. Just see how crazy people come outside looking. I thought somebody was trying to get the exclusive scoop for my video. 772? They're trying to interrupt greatness. <laughs> yeah. Like you wake up every morning with gratitude. You got both working limbs. Your heart is beating. You're in your right mind. Everybody is sane, somewhat. The kids is full of rotten. Thank you for choosing McDonald's. Come and help you. I guess they didn't want their water to that. Yeah. But when you become privy of being on both sides of the fence, on both sides of the railroad tracks, if you will, thank you, Chief McDonald's, and help you. That means you've been poor, broken, broke financially, mentally, emotionally. But then you have stepped into your period of prosperity and abundance. Not only in materialistic, no. Hey, I'm back. Ooh. Now I'm stuck in traffic, but I'm back. Okay. So back to what I was saying earlier. All I was making the point was this. The simplicities of life. The little things that we take for granted, man. Like. Is beyond me. We take for granted. The people in our life. We take for granted our, our limbs. We take for granted our jobs like and some of us think that we are so entitled like I can look 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 for real, for real like my mindset is changing my mindset is changing to the point of this it's like man I don't have time to be around that daggone toxicity like I was at work the other night and and man the folk there was just I hate my job I don't want to be here. I don't like the people I work with. 
you know, every little thing that was going wrong was going wrong with them. Like, like it was starting to irk my nerves. But then I was like, you know what? Oh, I, I, I. Shay, you hybrating, you vibrating up, up out here. Don't let them jokers bring you down to their level. Because they miserable. And you know what they say? Misery loves company. And 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 it it, it was like a, a pair. It was like a it was like a daggone disease. Like it, it infected one area, which was her. Then it just became the trickle down to one person. And then like it just be, then it was like an infectious disease. It went from her, and then then next you know the next chick was saying the same thing. I says oh 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 uh, uh, let me go help over here and stay in my little corner over here. I'm a manager, yes, but I, uh, let me stay over here, over here. Nope, mm -mm, I'm not going to involve myself with that because that right there, you will not bring me down today, boy. I don't want to blast this air because it's not really that hot. For really, really, ain't. That should feel good outside. But anyway. I mean, just began to nitpick over the smallest of things. And I'm just sitting here like, man, like, it, it was, it got to the point, it was irking my last nerve, boy. I was just like, Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Ooh, bless me. Shoot. Like, for me, I have no problem with a job. I mean, I've been working ever since I was 17. Well, for real, for hustling ever since sixth grade. In my in my science teacher class, Miss Pitts, she used to sell these candy, and she used to have a whole cabinet full of candy. And my old crazy self, I would buy, you know, I would ask my mom, I don't want some money. I would buy me some little candy, and then I would turn around, and, you know, try to sell it off some folk, you know, sell it to people. But then as I got into high school, of course, I became a teenage parent, so now I was like, well, man, I need some extra funds too, sure. So I remember my 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 fashion teacher, Miss Cope. Miss Cope used to have fashion class on this side, but then around the corner, like as soon as you walk into the school, it was like a school store sort of thing. And she would sell like the same type of thing, like you know, like uh, um, like candies and chips and you know that type of stuff, right? And I remember I used to buy these things called the Dunkaroo, and I will never forget this other boy that I used to that I used to was cool with in high school. And his name was Michael Pitts. He was from Mississippi too. And I was like, I was like, hey, and he was like. If, if you ain't see him, you ain't see me, and it's vice versa, which is real cool like that. But anyway, every time I got them daggone Dunkaroos, he was like, Shay. I was like, man, I got you, but look, you're gonna have to start paying me, boy. Stop playing. So, but I mean, I've been working ever since I was, you know, always had that like that go mentality. And again, once I became a teenage parent, it was like, man, I gotta come up with some ways to make some extra money, whatever. So I started doing hair start uh braiding the boys basketball team the girls you know girls basketball team we used, to, we used to get ready for a game we on the bus heading down to the to the to the opposing team's area and i we'd be on the bus braiding hair shoot being the bleachers braiding hair it's crazy but anyway but apart from that i'm not knocking a job i'm really not but my thing is, for me, in my own personal opinion, I just think that it's just a means to an end. But in the, in, in the event, you still need to be grateful for what you have. Be grateful that you are able to have a, a resource like that. You know, that can be able to fund whatever it is that you need to do. Your bills, business, uh, you need to take care of your mama, whatever, whatever the world. I don't know. You got some, some car notes you need to pay. Some car notes you need to pay for. Whatever. But my whole thing is like, like, this younger generation don't know what hard work means. For real. Like, everybody that's under 20, like right now in 2022, everybody that's under 20. Like, I don't understand. They don't understand the value of a dollar. My 15 year old steady. Mom, can we go to Walmart? Mom, can we go to Target? Ma, can we go out to eat? Y'all don't see that refrigerator full of food? Oh, all right. 
Y'all don't see them two deep freezers over there? Uh -huh. Didn't I just take y'all to Golden Corral? Shoot, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be an all you can eat buffet. Y'all better stuff your face. But you be so hungry when you get there, you only can eat but two plates. A hundred dollars later, eating two plates. Stop playing. But these kids don't understand the value of a dollar. And I'm like, girl, wait till you start working. And you got to pull out your pocket. All right. Wait till you gonna have to start. Oh, you want you want you want some jail? Oh, you want the Hicks? Hicks edge control. Oh, you want Hicks? Oh, you don't want to use Eco no more. Oh, you don't want to use the dollar store brand. Oh, all right. And and the Hicks is fifteen dollars. Oh, all right. Okay. And it's five of y'all heads plus my six. I gotta buy like four of them things. Just they don't value a dollar, and it's just like I'm just like man. If y'all just understood the simplicities of life. <laughs> Just like, be grateful for the stuff that you have, man. Just be grateful for the, 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 the things that you are able to do. I mean, just build your life brick by brick. Me and my homeboy, we be talking about that all the time. Like, man, this is just a means to an end. Like, build your life brick by brick, one piece at a time. Utilize your resources that's around you. I'm not saying using folk, no. But utilize your resource. But I, I just be sitting here thinking like, man, like, I, I want to go back to that type of life. So I want to live back to the simplicity of life. Like walk barefooted through the grass. I just want to, instead of making, 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 making snow angels, I want to make grass angels. Where I know I want to live on my own land where I know that my grass ain't filled with a whole bunch of pesticides, germicides, and every time of sides in it. And I just want to lay there. And make grass angels. I want to be able to walk outside booty ball naked. Mm hmm That's me. And just watch the, the, the wind go through all the crevices. <laughs> be able to just walk and just be able to plant my little trees and have a little mini little fruit fest in my backyard. Like I want to be able to do all of those things. I don't want to be in no big city. Like that that city life after all get old. Like I mean, not necessarily yes, I was born in Mississippi. Yes, I was. But my mom, for whatever reason, my mom don't have an accent. She don't. She born and raised there. But she don't sound like she from no country. I mean, to me she don't. I sound more country than her. And I was just born there. Okay? I was just born there and I don't even know what how old I was when I left. All I know was by the time we moved to Virginia, hell, I don't even know what age I was, for real. I know I was under five. But, like, living in, like, the DMV area, man, like, to me, it gets all that hustle and bustle and go, 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 go. That makes me get tired. Shoot, I'm sitting in traffic now. I'm just tired. All of, my, all of a sudden, just, oh, I'm sitting over a bridge with this water. Lord have mercy. That's like one of my like all this daggone water up underneath this. Okay, come. On. Can we can, like can we get over the daggone bridge, please? Like, I mean, can you get me off this bridge? Shoot. All this daggone traffic. Oh, I don't like that. They had made it to the other side. Oh. But uh, it's okay. To live, you know, out in the country. I don't mind living almost an hour and a half to two hours out in the country. And then when it's time to go out to the, you know, the city to do, you know, shopping. <laughs> little date night or you want to take the kids out to, you know, little amusement, whatever, whatever. You know, you know, grocery, whatever, whatever you got to do. But it's, I don't mind that. I don't mind not having no neighbors. For real, I will supply my backyard. With everything that my kids need, like I want to build my little playground back there. I want to have a little tree house. Like, I, I for real, I want to, I want a tree house for myself, for real. Like I be watching that show, Tree House, whatever. I think it was on HGTV something. I think I was like, oh, I want one, like for real. 
Like, I want me a backyard full of trees, grass, and dirt. Like, I want to get my own little garden on that. I do. So, anyway, I like, that's what I want. Like, get back to the simplicity of life. Like, we take so much for granted, for real. Like, I don't even remember the last time I just went outside and ran outside in the rain. That is so fun to me. I used to do that all the time. Just, man, especially when it be to get to thundering. I mean, not the lightning part, but thundering, like, you know, all that. And it, and it, it started off real slow. And all of a sudden, it just get, it get, just get real, real fast. Like, I just want to go. I just want to go run out in the rain. Like, the, my kid, and my, I don't know, my kids must be, have just grandfathered themselves into the country lifestyle. I mean, they country already. I don't know where they get it from. Because they, they all, they all city. Not, now one of them have been born down south nowhere. None of them. They all, either D.C. or Maryland, I mean, uh, 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 Virginia or, or, or Maryland babies. They be, we've been to the country, yes. But they... My kids don't dag on. They, they country spoiled. They country city spoiled. That's what they is. And I just want to get back to that lifestyle where I want to be able to, you know, buy my land and eventually build my house, all that. And just watching this younger generation, I'm just like, man, like, y'all don't, y'all don't understand. Like, the, the times we are living in now times we living in now you're gonna have to learn more than just a skill baby you 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 learning customer service that's all well and good you learning how to flip a burger that's all well and good you learning how to fold up some some silverware you know fork napkin salt pepper packets in a ketchup packet that's all good that's all well and good that's good okay but when you gonna when we gonna learn how to like i want to learn how to be an architect to build like an underground shelter if i need to I want to learn how to be a carpenter so and, and, and learning welding so that I can learn how to build a table and learn how to build stuff in my own house. Like when I build my house, I want to be able to say, like, yeah, I built my table. Yeah, I built. I, I, want to, I want to take that statement literal where I say that I built my own table. And I control what goes and who goes at that table, the type of food that will be placed on that table. All that. Like, I want to be able to be prideful of all the things that, proud, I want to be proud of the things that I have built by, with my hands. You know, and, and, you know, like your hands are your blessings. Like the gifts come from your hands. And you, what you speak about your speech. What is this traffic? What? Shade patience. I even want to get to the point where I want to buy like custom, custom pieces like clothing and stuff, stuff that you won't be able to go to the mall and buy. Like I don't like looking like everybody else. I mean, when I when I wear like this type of stuff, like comfortable, you know, comfort for comfortability. Yeah, I like being comfortable. You know, like throw a little cute little hat on because I love me. I love me some hats. Throw me a little cute little hat on, little cute little little pink shirt, you know, pink little tee with some little sweatpants, whatever, with some little whatever, you know like looking cute but like when it's time to like dress up or when it's time to like you know look like you looking like where you about to go I don't want to look like nobody else like I used to get so mad that when I when I in high school I used to buy stuff like that you know because like back in the day I was working and I used to dress a certain way oh my god where did you get that da, 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 da. and guess what the next day or the next week whatever that person will come to the Like, who told you to do that? And you know, good and doggone well, we trying to style it. All right. And, like, I'm so serious. 
Like, I just got to the point where I was just like, man, like, I don't like looking like everybody else because I, you know, I like taking pride in my own, like, little style and my little crazy stuff. And that's where I want my house to be. Like, I be following, like, so many black entrepreneurs, like, from, from, from furniture to dishes, cookware, like, all the simplest stuff clothing kids stuff like all that just talking about the artwork oh i love me some artwork boy some some black artwork some unique black artwork man it don't have to be like african stuff like uh, -uh. it unique black artwork i cannot wait to style my house oh my gosh and if you know eventually like you know if somebody special comes along whatever the case is and like both of our styles kind of collaborate we collaborate our styles or whatever the case is like it's I love it, I love it. But for real, like, let me back on subject, like, I don't understand. And people are just so, like, in a rush for no reason. What you rushing for? Where, where do you have to go? Time waits for nobody. Yes, I get that. I'm getting too old. No, you ain't. No, you're, you're not. You're not getting too old for nothing. That lady that was on the, the movie Wakanda, uh, the older lady, the grandma, or the, 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 the older, I think, her, oh, I forgot what her name was, but the older grandma, like, that was her first time acting. Like, when I did the little, when you, like, when they was going over, like, the bio of everybody, and they, and they mentioned her, and they was like, yeah, that was her first time acting. She was 83. Wakanda came out how long ago? What, three, three years ago? When it came out three years ago yeah and at, i think at that time she was like 83 man stop it y'all can't tell me you know i'm too old i'm too fat i'm too tall i'm too dark i'm too skinny my hair too nappy i'm too my hair too this and did it stop with all that insecurity stuff stop it somebody gonna love you just the way you are just your personality because you're crazy as hell somebody gonna love you and they're going to want you to be, you to be featured in their movie or their show or their play or their book or whatever, their job, whatever, just the way you are. There's no competition for you. Okay? You you in your own way. So, like, I mean, people, like, I, I just, I'm rambling for real. I really am because I'm in traffic cause I, and I'm, I'm feeling kind of bored. Like, I feel like I'm, I don't know. Like I'm antsy about something. Like I'm anxious or something. But. And I just feel like I just need to talk. But like see. Okay look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Like see all them trees. Like. I just want my backyard to look like that. Trees. Nothing but trees. And the kids can go back there and build like little mud for, for, uh, forts like we used to do. And like all that, I want to just go back to the simplicity of life. I don't need a whole bunch of craziness. Like, like I told you, we was in the process of moving, and I just started throwing out a whole bunch of stuff. Mommy, why are you throwing away? We keeping it for? Y'all didn't halfway damaged it anyway. Why I'm gonna keep it? No, the big bulk stuff is is going to be replaced anyway why am i gonna take my style of clothes is changing so why the world am i gonna keep something that, that once was uh oh y'all already know where this conversation going oh boy you already know the type of shoes that i used to wear either i'm either i'm shrinking shoot or my feet shrinking but i don't know what's going on like i feel like i'm shrinking for real like half this stuff that I used to wear now, now the, the, the pants dragging on the floor. I'm like, what? Because at first, you know, I don't know, is my dad gonna hip spread the wood on? And you know, my waist getting a little smaller. I don't, I, some stuff I just can't wear no more. Some stuff I'm just not gonna be able to wear. And then, I mean, do I, I do have stuff from a couple of years ago. I mean, which is still cute. And you can wear it any season. But, like, some of the clothes and the outfits, the, the furniture, like, your taste going to start to change. Especially when you are on your journey of your purpose. 
and you are on your journey of 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 figuring out who it, who you are and you know you are uh looking at yourself introspectively and you are just reevaluating yourself and your circle and all of that and when you become by yourself that's when you really start to figure out who who you really are and how how much of an influence society and your outside friends your peers and you know your acquaintances and everybody else around you how much of an influence they are and then when you become by yourself you're like I don't even know why I got these shoes on. I don't, I don't even like Jordan. He don't even like where I'm rocking these things for. I don't even like the color purple, but I'm wearing it because so and so said I look good in it, and I don't even like it. But that's someone someone else's opinion of you, because they know that if you, because they know that if you wore the right color that you really like, or you gonna outshine them. Mm? Oh, all right. Okay. So when you become by yourself, you got to start learning the foundations of life, the simplicities of life. What, what really makes you happy? Look at all the little pretty butterflies. All the little butterflies over there. They, they, they See? And you know what? Butterflies represent transformation. Like all of a sudden, I'm seeing this in a big old pretty field. Oh, in the little median. The median, the median field is what it is. And I see all these little white butterflies. Butterflies represent transformation. Like before you before you become a butterfly, you are what? A caterpillar, right? And caterpillars go through the most trying time of their life. They like that is the time when you are on the ground running. Y'all better please see. Look, when I get to rambling like this, please pay attention to what I be saying. Oh, here goes Shay talking again. Please here, pay attention. Please. Because I, I be talking like so many things at the same time, but they're like, they're messages. Okay? Just listen. Caterpillars go through the most trying times of their life. They are literally on the ground running for their life. You hear me? On the ground. And during this process, they are up against giants, literal giant giants, us, kids wanting to pick them up. They're, when, when they got to go from one side of the, the street to the next, what are they up against? Being, you know, tractor trailers and cars and bikes and scooters and wagons and everything else wanting to, to run over them and not seeing them. So they're having to fend for their life while they're on the ground. On the ground is where you're going to go through the most, the most traumas. Like, like that's where you're going to have your biggest battles. Your biggest battles is going to happen on the ground. That's where you're going to gain your most experience. That's where you're going to learn how to, to try to figure out, okay, like, do I want to live this materialistic life where I'm steady running? I'm steady robbing Peter to pay Paul because I'm trying to, I'm trying to be over there like the, like the Joneses. The Joneses over there trying to be like the Felixes. The Felixes over there trying to be like the Jacksons. The Jacksons over there trying to run and, and, and run a show. And they don't even know which stage they on. Shoot. For real. So, ooh. So, it's like. <clears throat> then finally, when that caterpillar makes it to the other side. And, they, and, they, and it's time. Is, and at this point, they done been through all they gonna been through. At this time now, they feel, they realize, you know, I'm not like everybody else. I got to learn. I, I got to go in hermit mode. I got to go in isolation mode. I got to get away from everybody else talking in my ear. I got to stop listening to everybody's opinion and what they think and, and all this advice and what so-and-so said, what they think my life should be. What you listening to them for? And you look at their life and their life ain't even two steps ahead of yours. Stop playing. They $500 in, uh, 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 away from being bankrupt. Stop playing. Six hundred dollars away away from their 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 cars being repossessed, but you looking at they they got a Benz, they got this, they got that. She rocking the ladies, he rocking the ladies. They got the nice man. Stop all that. So you realize that that lifestyle is not yours no more. So you realize once you get to that other side and you you finally found your closet, your corner, that tree that you can just climb up and just isolate yourself. At that, that's the point where you go and you you do you you start doing that that character building time frame. You start doing that in, that that evaluation, that self evaluations. 
and you, you start thinking about yourself, man, I don't even like this for real. I don't even like her for real, man. I, don't, I ain't even like him. I don't, even know, I don't even know why I gave my body to him anyway. That's not even my type. Yes, uh, was we gonna stop? But I wouldn't. I I wasn't get. We weren't getting nowhere. This job. That's when you start really going through that mental, ment, that mental. Ooh boy. When you up against yourself, that is the biggest battle that you will ever have to go through in life. Is when you battle your your mental. When you battle yourself. So all the then you go through all you ask God God show me everywhere where I made a mistake at show me everywhere where I was insecure show me everywhere where I took the wrong path because I I thought I was doing something better than you because you you said no because everybody like oh well God don't come you know show when he wanted me show up right on time but well, I think you was on time I was impatient God so you you tell me where I went wrong in that situation and, and the consequence of that, what I had to go through in that situation and what I'm having to face, show me what I did. When you allow yourself to be real with yourself and stop being in denial and you allow God to show you all, you allow God to show you all of your mistakes and all your mishaps and everything that you thought you was doing good by. That's when the blessings start to roll in because now you, you no longer are, are, are blinded veil has slowly started to come off your eyes and you like man what the world was I thinking who was I what the world was I doing what am I in a rush for what am I rushing for shoot how can I be a parent to my children if I'm still I'm doing myself a disservice by settling. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not growing. I'm not learning. I'm not I'm not being convicted. Everybody's so intimidated by you because they don't they they too scared to tell you, girl, you you you're jacking up. Nah, bro. That ain't that ain't the way to go. Cause it, cause you hold this this fake confidence in you. But deep down, you ain't nothing but a little scared little baby just trying to showboat. Stop it. So now it's like, uh, when you have learned to accept all of the things that you've done and you become convicted of them, that's when the growth really starts to happen. That's when as now, now as you are going into that isolation in that cocoon stage God is like you know that big old white webby looking stuff God is now surrounding you with his angels because now you are being now you are being hidden it's like a big old it's like a crowd of angels covering you and, and it's like it's like you know their their cloths around them are covering you right and so from the naked eye you can't see what's behind that those those cloths behind the, the white web you don't know what's going on on the inside right so you look, so everybody that walk by, oh, that's just a spider web. Oh, that's just a, oh, oh that's just one of them little, them little caterpillar things. And it's, it's just like every day, oh, you know, oh, oh that's a so-and-so old house. They used to live there. Oh, all right. But they don't understand what, what, what the true for master physician is really doing on the inside, the inside work. They don't understand what's going on, right? Everything just looks normal to them on the outside. Boy, you're being hidden for such a time as this. And when you start to learn everything that you need to learn, God's going to allow you to start learning quickly on the inside. Because once you break free from out that mold, oh, it's go time, baby. It's go time. And slowly when one by one, when them, them angels start to walk away from you because now you, you're grown, you're growing up. You still need a little bit of milk every now and then, but you done grow, you, you done you done graduated to oatmeal now. Now you done went from milk, now you eating oatmeal. Next is gonna be grits if that's what you like. I mean, I like grits. I like grits with the cheese, the, the, the egg, the cheese, the egg, no, not the egg, but the cheese and the sugar. Yes, sugar. I said it. Stop playing. So you you're graduating. Let's stay on track. You graduating now, right? 
once you break free from that that mold, every one angel. All right, you you think he ready? All right, yeah, I think he ready. Right, you you go ahead. I don't think he ready yet. So they they still covering you. Oh you oh you think he ready? Yet? Oh yeah, I'm he ready. I'm. About, oh you think she? Oh. And one by one they're leaving your presence because of of you being covered and hidden. And eventually you start to break free from that. But you don't realize how much growth you've been through. You don't even recognize. Who, you don't even know who you are on the inside. Next thing you know, you finally, you you finally break out. You finally break it out, but you're still walking. You ain't realize you got wings. You walking down the street, you prancing, and you hey hey you hey throwing your hands up at everybody. Everybody looking at you like I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. They must be new in town. Nobody recognize you. They don't know who you are. You just so happen to pass by a thrift store. And one of them thrift stores, they got all the little antique mirrors and clocks and all that. You just so happen to, you prancing. You, you still prancing. You happen to. Who the world is? You, you doing all of that, you don't even know who that is. You like, hold on, it's, what, it's, that's, that's me? <gasps> I got, oh, I got wings. Stop it. <gasps> you don't even realize the growth. You don't even realize how much growth you've actually went through. You don't even realize how much uh, uh, of, of, of mental preparation that you've gone through. So by the time you come out, you don't nobody recognize who you are. Because you've been gone for quite some time. You ain't been posting. You ain't even been posting about your business. You ain't been, you ain't been posting about your lifestyle. You ain't been posting about your, your new job. You ain't been posting about your money, your new boo. You ain't been posting nothing. You hear me? You you. Hey, y'all seen some? Nah, I ain't seen for a minute. Dang, it's been about six months, ain't it? Yeah, I don't know what. Last time I saw him, he was down at the basketball court who, shooting hoops with so-and-so. Yeah, girl, last time I saw her, she was with old boy. And I don't know what happened. Mm-hmm. Same old, same old story, girl. I don't know. I stopped listening to her. Unbeknownst to them, you getting your life together. You pass by them. You passing by the mirrors, and you looking like, hold up. What the world did I just do, baby? You just went through a transformation. You literally, you you literally. What's the word? Metamorphosis? Yeah. You went through a went to a caterpillar to a daggone monarch butterfly. One of the most beautiful butterflies I've ever seen. And they're big too. You prance up and down the street, you don't even know who you are. Until you got a glimpse of yourself. And then when everybody started realizing, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, that, that walk looked familiar. Oh, that voice sounds familiar, but that body looked mighty. Hold on. Shay? Hey, y'all. <laughs> what story does this remind you of? What's his name, right? Joseph, ain't he? Where he went through, he went through literally like a spiritual metamorphosis. His brothers always made fun of him because they thought they, you know, they picked on him, bullied him because they thought he was the favorite child. He was the last child, last boy. Then, then the daddy gave him, Abraham gave him the, uh, was it that? That was his daddy. Yeah. His, his daddy gave him the good sex of life. Good sakes of life. Lord Jesus. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy.
about to cry. I've, that just hurt my heart just now. I don't know what happened, but regardless, I pray them people still had their life. People just rushing through life for what? For what? But that story just reminds me of oh, what's his name? Lord have mercy. That just I just pray that that person was okay, man. Like. I don't care what I don't care what they doing goofing off racing whatever nobody nobody deserves that and but anyway let me get back to my story Hey, man, that was bad. That was real bad, man. I'm sorry, I'm such a dang old cry, baby. Look, that was bad. That was that was bad. But anyway, um, his brothers would bully him and all that, and then because you know, his brother, his daddy gave him that coat, and then they because of jealousy they turned around and they they sold the boy, threw him in a pit. Then the other people came picked him up, and then he became you know y'all you know the story. The wife, you know she she being she th she being a little thought, so she decided you know she wanted to try to like you know. Uh, 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 set the boy up and he ended up in jail and then guess what because he he's like his integrity some of y'all don't have that but his integrity was too his integrity was too high he was like man I'm not about to fool with you man you you the you the you the daggone king of the world at the time his wife are you kidding me man you can literally destroy me you better stop playing and we about to be going through a stop playing. We, so anyway, he used his gifts. He used his gifts of his dreams, how to interpret dreams and stuff. And the very people that that threw got him thrown in that pit had to turn around and 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 need him. And I take these lashes off now they all wet and my eye hurt and they sticking me in my corner but uh and then so he went through a transformation period he was hidden he was hidden for a very long time to the point that his mom died she was worried about him the mom died and daddy got old and they didn't you know before the mom died they ended up having one more summer because they thought that not to say that they're gonna try to replace him, but they 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 guarded this little boy with for dear life, because she was like, I'm not losing no other baby. Bump that, right? So the mom done passed away, the daddy old, and, and all the brothers all the brothers now old and everything. So, but they come to find here come the family, they're, you know, and, you know everybody's hungry and you know they they needing food, and and they 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 have been approached by this man. They go to the palace and they, you know, they're being approached by this man and they, they don't even recognize it's so their own brother. <clears throat> they don't even realize that it's their brother in, in, in charge of now their livelihood. Whether, whether they starve or whether they die. But because he went through a, a, a character change, he could have very well said, you know what, the heck with them. They did this to me, woo, 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 bop, 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 and guess what? And... and but he would have stopped his own blessing. Karma would have came, been came back to him. And God had to get on him. Stop it. I, I, I brought you out. Stop it. 
And guess what? He had to humble himself. And guess what? So now, he, um, long story short, he ends up giving his uh, brother some food and whatnot. And eventually, you know, he had, he had to show them him or tell him it was him. They didn't even recognize him. They was like, what? They was like, Joseph, what, what? And it was like, yo. And he, even the wife was like, look, yo, stop it. Those are your brothers. Regardless, stop it. He was so, he he had a moment. He did. He did. We, he was, we all human. We, we have our moments. Stop that. Stop playing. And eventually, he ended up feeding. And he he was beginning to prepare them for what was to come and, and how to navigate and all that. And so that they can be able to live and provide for their now families. There's gonna be a time frame where y'all gonna y'all are some of y'all are in hermit mode, you in hiding, you in you 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 in you know somebody done done counted you out, somebody done you know basically disowned you, somebody done treated you real real bad, somebody done neglected your feelings, somebody didn't act like they didn't even care for you no more, somebody acting like you know uh, 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 they can just just do what they wanted with you and you, for you to just sit there and, and 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 deal with it, but they didn't realize that you you a chosen one. They didn't realize that, you know what, God said, no, enough is enough. This is my child. I'm I'm about to take up for them. Shay, get your little tail over there in that tree and go, go, go in hermit mode for, for a minute. I got you, baby. Don't worry about it. Don't you fight back. Don't you don't you lash back. Whatever they do, whatever they do, they're talking about you, whatever they're saying about you, let them talk. Whatever whatever they want to file against you, whatever they want to, whatever they want to do, trust me, I have the last say. Okay? I got you. You just go on about your business. You show up to the court. Show, show up to the places show up to whatever you, it is that you need to be i got you everything gonna go in your favor because you better not seek revenge you better not mess this up you better not self-sabotage this girl i got you get your tail get your tail over there in that damn tree go on over there all right god you got it because when i bring you out of this baby yo glow up but sir ma'am your glow up is not gonna be like everybody else. People gonna think that you that you, you done. People gonna people gonna start thinking that you did a little something strange for a piece of change. They gonna be like, how the world you how everything just dropping in your lap? Cause you what you over there dropping it like it's hot or something. What is it that you? What is it that you? Who you paying off? Who you affiliated with? Because I want in God and God alone. And I'm walking in my purpose. I've stepped into my God-given abilities. I, I, I'm on the, I'm on the path of character change. I can use the bathroom. I'm on I'm on my path of 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 learning how to walk in in my abilities so that I may help others. What I tell y'all the other day, this this protecting your peace thing. My house. This protecting your peace thing. No, baby. This ain't for the week. I told you that. It's not. It, it, this ain't no fly by night type of thing. You got to go into hermit mode. It's going. It may your hermit mode may be for a year. It may be for two, three years. It may be for a couple of months. Whatever it is, however long it is, do not rush that process. You don't want no premature blessing. You don't. You want that joker nice and seasoned, boy. You want that thing. You want that thing nice and woo tender. You want it nice and fresh, straight off the market, straight out the water. You want all that. Meat where it just fall off the bone if you eat meat. Fruits, just fruits. You can just pick straight fruit from, straight, pick, pick straight from the, uh, 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 the limbs, the branches, whatever. Ooh, I gotta use the bathroom. Lord have mercy. But... Your, your journey ain't gonna be like everybody else and you shouldn't want it to be like everybody else because I don't want to take credit for nothing that's about to happen for me I don't want to take credit for none of it I don't, I don't want to take nothing I don't want to take credit for nothing I don't want to take credit for it I don't want to <coughs> I don't want to take credit for it I don't want to be like oh yeah you know I'm self made self I ain't nothing about me self nothing because without me, yeah, myself put myself in a lot of them situations, yeah. But the glow up process, y'all, that's all God, babe. I don't take no credit for that.
the actual me identifying who I am and my abilities and all of that, all that good. That, I use the bathroom. I'm sorry, y'all. But, 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 when you get down back to the like the simplicities of life, and you and you begin to enjoy just the little things that God has blessed you with. God says, if you are, God says, basically, I don't, like I said, I don't want to take credit. And I don't, I don't know all the exact, the exact verbiage, but it's like, if you can be a good store steward over what you have, over the little that you may have, be content, you know, with what you have, then you can be a ruler over much because God now can trust you. Now everybody want to talk. And I'm in Wi-Fi, so everybody want to talk. But, <clears throat> but that's the message, man. It started off, you know, you enjoying the simplicities of life. To you going into hermit mode. To you walking into your purpose. Because I, I saw the butterflies on the side of the road and, you know, transformation. Then we up there talking. That man over there picking stuff up off the ground. I just I just love watching folk in their own little element. He just picking stuff up, putting his little putting it in his little pocket. But anyway, that yeah, that that that's basically like the gist of everything. Hmm. But y'all already know what it is. It's your girl Shay Shay. From Simply Magnolias and honey, y'all, I'm just a southern girl living life like it's golden. No matter how thick and sticky life gets, remember that it is still what? Golden. I'll catch y'all later. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs> All right, y'all. Bye.